Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Victoria, and we're from Creek, Manila. Today, we're going to make concrete trays using old ice cream containers. So, Creek, Manila is a Filipino business that handcrafts items using concrete as its main material. So, we make items like uh, trays, furniture, and so on. We're gonna show you how to make these trays because since the items are also available at home, so you can make your own concrete trays. And para din ma-promote natin yung being able to recycle plastic containers at home. We will be needing white cement, water, mixing bowl, any old plastic bowl or something para hindi naman sayang and then mixing spatula old ice cream containers it can be any size and old acrylic paint so ito nakuha lang namin siya from yung paint by numbers projects <laughs> so may extra kami then we need sandpaper and then acrylic emulsion, acrylic emulsion. So step one is mold preparation, step two is mixing and pouring, step three is demolding, step four is sanding, and step five is finishing. The first step is mold preparation. So first, kailangan natin ng sandpaper, 80 grit. What we need to do here first is remove anything in the plastic container that might appear on the surface of the concrete. So, in this case, meron siyang parang bump sa ilalim. So, tanggalin natin yun by sanding. After sanding, just check to see if the surface is smooth. And if it's uh, smooth enough for you, all you have to do is clean the surface. And then using petroleum jelly, we apply it to the surface just so it's easier to take out of the mold. If you don't have petroleum jelly, you can use cooking oil there. So after the mold preparation and applying the petroleum jelly or lubricant to the surface, we're ready for Mixing. For mixing, the standard ratio for cement and water is 2 is to 1. 2 parts cement, 1 part water. This is half cup of water. You can choose any color naman for the paint. Gonna put it here. So you can use any um, water soluble paints. Yes, better than latex paint. So now we can add the cement. Just one cup. So parang nagbibake lang tayo. So when you put cement, half half muna, half cup muna, then you mix it. Pag even na siya, mix mo ulit yung other half. Kunyari, parang ganito. Kunyari, tumigas na yung cement. You can add a bit of water. Tapos si Daniel, imimix niya yung white. Since we're gonna make parang patch finish. So, same mixture then One is to two. So, the consistency that you want to get is... It should be thick enough that it can hold on the spatula. Okay, so now we're gonna pour. 
for pouring, it can be ano, done randomly para makuha nyo yung effect na parang patch siya. So, dito sa project na to, you can add another color para tatlo yung color combination niya. So, once all of the cement is in your mold, you have to vibrate your mold na. You also do this to get all the bubbles or the cavities out of the concrete. After that, leave it for 24 hours. Don't forget to place it in a spot on a flat, a really flat surface just so it comes out even. You don't want it to have one side bigger than the other, like if it's slanted. After 24 hours... So this one, we poured it uh, way ahead, so it's cured. So show you what it looks like. So yes. Oops! For this one, we mixed three, uh, two colors. Because we smoothen the, the surface before pouring it, we don't have to sand it after, so it eliminates that part of the process. We only need to sand the back just to get it um, even, and then it will be ready for finishing. Also, for this process, we recommend na mag mask tayo. Yeah. Since it's gonna be dusty. So it's really important to, to sort of chamfer or soften up the edges so that it's less prone to chips if ever to mama just a table or something. Alright, so for finishing, we need acrylic emulsion. So any brand will do. And then you can use a um, an old cloth, old t-shirt. It's an old t-shirt. Eh? <laughs> so when you're finishing, you just dip to the emulsion. So you'll notice once you spread it, the, um, the color becomes more saturated. This is just to seal the concrete and to protect it from, from stains and also to repel water. So ideally you do about two times. Two times is enough, but you can you can add more. So after you've um, finished the sides and the top, in the top you want to let it sit for a while to let it dry and then you can finish the, the, the bottom part of it. So there you have your concrete tray that you can use for your trinkets. So if you want to get creative and get resourceful, um, you can try this project. It's very easy to do at home and the materials are uh, can be easily found in your houses except your cement. For the cement and the acrylic emulsion, it can be found at the different hardwares available dito sa atin. So it's very easy to look for materials also. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. Bye! Bye.